All right, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? How is it going? I am no one, and I have over 7 trillion hours invested into Ashes of Creations pre-Alpha 2 testing. And because of that, today's video, I am giving you my top five things that you need to know before you step your first foot into Vera. So let's dive into it. Number one, the number one thing you guys need to know and understand is this is an Alpha. Not a game, not a game. Not a game. And this alpha is a Rorschach test. If you're looking for bad, you can find bad. If you're looking for good, you can find good. There's some fun content to engage in, a whole world to explore, but there are also plenty of bugs. You can definitely tell that it is not a completed game. Number two, phase one of alpha two is testing server stability. The entire point of phase one until December is to make sure that the servers are fully functional before they start onboarding more in-game content. I've watched a lot of videos of other content creators talking about their pre-alpha 2 experience, and they have been saying that the difference between what the alpha was when they first started and what it was what it is now is literally night and day. In the beginning, some content was gray boxed or it lacked visual depth and clarity that you'd see in live streams. It looks like they are slowly onboarding more and more features to Vera, one at a time, so that if something crashes, it's easier to diagnose and fix the issue because you know where it came from. And we have a few more months of this. We have a few more months of this phase before we get into server stability and actually the game being online more. With all this being said, what I have been playing has been a lot of fun, but I am also not currently playing under the same server strain that we will see in a couple days with tens of thousands of people looking to hop on and play Alpha 2. Intrepid has set aside four days to have the servers offline for a reason, and that's to get things fixed when we break them. There's a good chance that the first few iterations won't work properly, but the Intrepid team from what I have seen and from what I have heard has been really good. This will be a quick guide on how to get your mount. Now, I cannot show any pre-alpha 2 footage, but I will show the live stream and I will highlight different points so you guys kind of have an idea on where to go. First things first, when you spawn in Nevera, before you head out the door, you talk to Gatewatcher Bronzer on the left side. He will give you a quest to kill some goblins. You will go out through the door, and to the right, there are barricades with sickly goblins just outside of them. Kill the sickly goblins until it says quest completed. Then follow the path down the hill. I do want to briefly say before this, you will have an option to pick up a, a secondary weapon along the path as well. They're, they're littered along the side. Make sure you do that also. Back to this quest. Once you kill the goblins and it says quest completed, follow the path down the hill. Follow the path until you see Scout Hadrick, who's on the cliff overlooking the town. Turn in the goblin quest and take the new quest and head into town. When you first enter, you will be greeted by official Talahad, who's outside of the first building on the left-hand side. He will then give you a quest to attune to the local Ember Spring. Ember Springs and Ashes of Creation are like respawn points. When you die out in the world, wherever you're attuned to, as long as you are close enough, is where you will spawn at. After you attune to the Ember Spring, you can turn in the quest. Now you head across the stream over to the crafting station area and talk to Trades Manager Hernet. They will have you cut down and refine a tree, and then a stone, and then some flowers. Once you do all of these quests and become acquainted with crafting, you can head back across the stream to the horse stable and talk to Stable Master Pile to collect your horse. And that's it. You are ready to explore the world. There are some quests, there are some town boards and other things to do, but this is the minimum to get you out and exploring what we currently have in Vera in Alpha 2. Also, if you want something more in depth, I would highly recommend checking out Rive's channel. He recently posted a grinding and tips video uh, that is way more immersive than this video will be. He has way more hours in the game than I do. He spent a lot of time researching. I just watched it earlier today. It is a good video. You should go check it out. Link in the description. Now, number four. The vast majority of the leveling experience in Alpha 2 is grinding. Guys, was totally heterosexual. Let's choose a female character with big tits. That's us, man. We're such a BDO main that we love big titted anime girls. Yeah. Who needs story? It's all about that grind. I'm on that Sigma grind. Look at me. I like to grind. You will be spending 
a lot of time doing this, as the time to get to level 25 takes 100 hours, according to Stephen Sharif. The best way to get starter gear for your character right now is to grind mobs, and the humanoid ones are the ones that will drop gear, as pointed out by Zillin in one of his videos, linked in the description below. So, finding creatures like goblins in the starter zone are great for acquiring starter level gear to advance your character as quickly as possible. Once you're done with that, you can try the popular grind spots that have been or will be posted on YouTube, but it's more than likely in this game that an empty grind spot is more fruitful than one that is packed with people. Go out and adventure the world, maybe find a remote area not many people are in and explore. Number five, I highly recommend grouping up with a few people to level because a lot of classes lack self-healing. I've been playing a fighter, and after just a few pulls solo, my health bar drops to a point to where I have to stop killing mobs and I have to rest and regain my health and mana bar. When you're solo, you need to do this a lot more often than you are than when you are in a duo or trio with a bard or a cleric. They can help heal you, they can help keep you up, you can grind a lot more, which means you won't experience the experience debt loss that you get while dying. You're also safer from a lot of outside groups. You also just get to grind more with a lot less resting. So overall, it'll just be a lot safer, less hectic of an experience. Grinding solo is fun. Don't don't ever tell your don't tell your family and loved ones that you love to grind solo. Regardless, you can do it, it's just a little bit harder. So I'd recommend at least going in a duo or or possibly a trio or, you know, running 20 with 20 people. Ashes of Creation by design is supposed to be a challenging world and it's supposed to be more of a group-based MMORPG. They're attempting to put the massively multiplayer back into MMORPGs. So find some friends, meet some people, talk, group up, experience what they have in there together. Now, that's my top five tips that I have for now. I will be coming out with more content as we get further and further in Alpha 2, as I learn things, as I can share things, as I can share actual gameplay footage, I'll be able to do, the, to do that as well. And we won't have to do this roundabout thing where you know we're, we're playing live streams in the background. That's the end of this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, please provide in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer it. As always, guys, thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Hey guys, it's no one here in post. I just wanted to let you guys know that after I got this video recorded and I was editing, it was posted that all of the Alpha 2 purchasers that get to get in on October 25th should check their email. Uh, they're doing a visual NDA on Alpha 2 for one extra day. They're just gonna stress test the server before what happens on Friday. So. I was pretty excited when I saw that. I just wanted to let you guys know. Also, it doesn't hurt to be at around the seven minute and 20 second mark, and you just need a few extra seconds for killing time. But I would rather spend that talk with you than recording and uploading this video. Anyways, we're at eight. Take care. Bye.